What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Corey Kinchin here, and welcome back to Paranoic. Last episode, we learned some uh, pretty bad things about our mom uh, and our aunt. <sighs> she freaking hung herself. She freaking hung herself. But she was delusional. She was saying stuff like, Miki said that she hated her when she really didn't. Uh, and another person raised a, a good point in the comment section. She could have been delusional about my mom, too, actually. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, see what we do next. That was the last door in the house that was locked. So I don't, I don't know what we're doing now. Up oh, the door. Hopefully it's Shinji. Hey, Shinji, is it, is it you? Hello? Yeah, yeah, why did he take me home last night? Mr. Muta. Hello, Miss Takamura. So, how goes it? Nothing happened, I presume? Uh, wrong. You don't believe me, huh? Huh? I'm not really surprised that you don't believe me. But! But still! Why would you be so awful as to take me back here in my sleep? Miss Takamura! Tell me if I'm a bother. You could just tell me, but this is just too cruel. Inside, you're laughing at me for saying weird things because I'm depressed, and you pretend to be helpful. Miss Takamura, calm down. I have no idea what... What? Are you still making fun of me? Calm down, please! Didn't you tell me that you were going home yourself last night? Oh, dang. Huh? Don't you remember? You woke me up in the night and said you'd be fine. What? You kidding me? Look at freaking Shinji standing on the couch. Huh? Miss Takamura? What's the matter? Oh, do you need to use the toilet? I'll be fine now. I'll go back home. Oh, she's freaking indoctrinated. That was rather sudden. It's late at night. You should stay. Even if it's just across the street. It's fine. After all, it is my house. Yeah, you can tell by the way she's walking really slow. Oh, heck no. So it, is it inside of her? I don't understand. Are you sure? Well, if you say so yourself. This is freaking crazy, Samurai. What, what What's happening? That can't be. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. I was sleeping all last night. Miss Takamura. There's something I wish to say. About this monster and these events. What is it? I don't think that you're lying, Miss Takamura. However... If you were being chased by a monster, there would be traces of it, and well as the hair. I found nothing of the sort when I looked around. You're right, that thing has no freaking legs, so that means whatever would be coming out of its torso when it's freaking crawling around would be all over the floors, but it's not. I also checked the well, and there was no hole or cave as you said there was. What? It's true, I'm not lying. So, I was thinking. Could the monster you saw and the events that occurred be hallucinations or delusions? Hallucinations? Delusions? Oh man, you hear that music? What does your depression come from? It may be your mother's hysteria or perhaps the stress of work. Or perhaps it's guilt with regard to Miss Aiki. Miss Aiki became mentally ill from the guilt of losing her child. She began to hear and see things. Perhaps you're the same way? Racked with guilt that you couldn't save Miss Aiki, and thus you see strange things. That's not right! It, it wasn't hallucinations! I couldn't think! But there... But is there any other explanation? If you really are hallucinating, you need to go to the hospital. Not to disturb you, but... 
I just don't want you to end up like Miss Psyche did. Please, leave. I'll just... I'll handle it myself. Miss Takamura! <laughs> Tell me, please! What do you... What do you really think? Come on. Oh, decisions! <gasps> Come on, there's really a monster. It's just a delusion. I'm gonna go with delusion. If if Shiji, the boy wonder himself, looked around and didn't see any traces of any monster, it has to be. We need to face reality. Wake up! It's delusion. Maybe it isn't real. Like you say, Mr. Muta, I never quite considered it. I'll go to the hospital tomorrow. I feel like my depression is only going to get worse, too. I'm glad you understand. I hope you get better soon. Excuse me. If anything happens, I'll come running. <laughs> Shinji! Shinji, my hero! Alright, come on. Come on. Yes, it's just a hallucination. It couldn't possibly exist. The hospital. Tomorrow for sure. No, don't go tomorrow. Go tonight. We know what's going to happen when that freaking night time comes. The monster is going to come. Uh-oh. Who is this? We're going to save in the second slot. Just in case we chose the wrong decision. Let's go. Freaking phone. Hello? Mickey, are you okay? What was that last call about? What happened? Oh, now you want to call back mom? Mickey, what is it? Are you crying? It's nothing. <laughs> I was just lonely. Sorry for saying such strange things. Well, that's all right. Call me if anything happens. Actually, bye. I actually, I think... I think the mom isn't a bad mom. I think it's been the house all along. I can't tell her. It's a hallucination. If she did, she'd treat me just like she treated auntie. If I go to the hospital and get treated, I'm sure I can go back to normal. Oh wait, maybe there were some things that I personally witnessed my mom doing that were bad. But I, I just don't know what to believe anymore because... The auntie was saying things about Mickey. Clearly, Mickey didn't do anything bad. But uh, it's day five, so. Here comes that monster. I hear something, but it's just a hallucination. There's no monster. But where is it coming from? All right, save it. It's probably our last encounter with this freaking monster. Let's figure out where this freaking sound is coming from <gasps> who is it ah, ah. wait that is my aunt no, no this isn't real I'm just imagining it the monster is my it is! Yes, just a delusion. I'm hallucinating. Oh, but we still gotta run, please. Let me run. Because of my guilt. Because... Because I... I let Auntie... I let her die! If I had helped her, Auntie wouldn't... I've killed herself. Dude, I thought the monster... I thought the monster sliding around this entire time, I thought it was a boy. I killed... I killed my aunt. No, no. It was my fault. Auntie. Oh, no. This is fantasy, this is fantasy, this is fantasy, this is fantasy, this is fantasy. This is fan... This isn't real. What? What?
No. No! We picked the wrong thing! <gasps> Novelist Mickey Takamura found dead by neighbor. Dang! Alright, well, at least we know, um... At least we know we picked the wrong thing. Let's, uh, let's, uh, redo that decision. <clears throat> Bad end. Okay, uh, back to this. Now we know it's not just a delusion because that sucker killed us in real life last time. There's really a monster! I can't even consider that. It's just a fantasy. Don't say that if you haven't seen it yourself! It, it really is a monster! Miss Takamura. Just leave! Get out! I don't want to see you or anybody! Just stay away! Excuse me. If anything happens, I'll come running. Oh, he's, he says the same thing. He's still my hero. Okay, let's go. All right. Now we're ready. We know that it's real. That thing is no hallucination. It, it definitely exists. All right. Let's talk to mom again. Who's that last couple? Okay. Same thing. Same thing. We don't gotta, we don't gotta do this. Oh, she sounds up different. Mom, help me, please! There's a monster in this house! It's trying to kill me! You're the only one I can ask! Help me, please! Come get me! I wanna go home! Let's see what mom, let's see what good old dear mom says. Starts off with a ha ha ha. Can't be too well. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! I just know you were crazy. Just like she was, having all these delusions. M Mom! I always thought you were like her. So weak and fantasizing. And you end up being a crazy too. Don't call me again! I don't want anything to do with crazies. Go oh! <laughs> Go hang yourself like she did! Are you kidding? Yo, I'm done with her. She is completely cut off from my life. I am officially disowning my mom. She said go hang yourself like she did. Her own sister though! She won't believe me, but it's true. I, I'm not crazy. You fight, Mickey. You fight. You fight everybody. You fight Shinji. You fight Mom. You fight whoever you need to fight. Because you know that that monster is real, bro. Dang. I hear something. Is it the monster? Where's it coming from? Yeah, we know. We know. We know exactly where to go. This time, saving in that good old slot one, because it's right. What if it was like an unseen third option? I'd be like, dang it, game. Freaking tricking me. Alright, come on. What? Yeah, we did this. Oh. Yep, just get ready to run. G gotta run. H have to hide. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's save it first. Alright, um. We hide in here. Actually, yeah, let's try this uh, good old fireplace. Work, 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 let's work, 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 money segments to work, to work, to work, to work, work, please work. Oh, great. Whoa, I'm in the basement. It's a dead end. There's nowhere to hide. Oh. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done for. Here, here we go. Embrace the death. I thought there would be somewhere to hide in the basement, though. I was wrong. No! Stay back! Stay away! Shinji! Oh, what? Uh, bear? <gasps> Mickey. Oh, dang. My auntie sewed that on there. So she should realize it's me. 
Ah! The the soft bear. What? Why do you keep reporting every little thing to me? This is my mom talking. I don't care about your child. I'm sorry, sister. It's just I want to tell someone. So who else would I? My child seems quite healthy. It's rather a late birth, so I was anxious how it might go, but... Hmm, you love to boast, don't you? About how you married such... How you married a rich man and live in such harmony. Unlike you, I'm a very busy woman. So bo don't bother me with your nonsense. I hate you, Mom. Auntie. Oh my, Mickey. It's been a while. Are you done with school for today? Yeah. Hey, is your baby going to be a girl? Well, I don't know yet. But I get the feeling it will be. So I'm making lots of stuffed animals. Though if it's a boy, maybe he won't care much for them. I don't think so. If you made them, Auntie, I think anybody would like them. Is that so? Haha, <laughs> thank you. I know. Oh, I know. I'll make a stuffed animal for you too, Mickey. Oh, that's that bear. Ah, but you're in high school, so maybe you're a bit old. I'd love to have that, Auntie. Would you really? Of course. I'll make you a cute one. Look forward to it. Oh, but if Mom found out, I think she'd be really mad. It'll be fine. I'm sure she'll accept a present to my lovely niece. My Auntie, you the best. You the, you the best. You the, you the best. Thanks, Auntie. Oh, this is that good. It's that good, good ending. Here we go. She's gonna wake up now. That's right. The stuffed bear. Oh, you hear that music cut off, though? The stuffed bear. It was from Auntie to me. I was looking forward to it. But not long after, Auntie's child died. Oh, she's gonna start crying. Auntie, I'm sorry. When you were suffering most, I didn't help you. I was scared of mother. I let you die, auntie. But, but, I, I always loved you, auntie. I wanted to meet your child. And once you finished this bear, I was going to cherish it. I even became a waiter. Or writer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because you love books and taught me about... So many. Don't cry, Auntie. It was rough for you. It must have hurt. You hate me, don't you? Are you mad that I... That I let you die? I'd... For you, Auntie. I'd do anything. Oh, that scared me. I love you. Auntie... Oh, uh, don't kill me, please. Don't still kill me. <gasps> what? No. Mura? Miss Takamura! It's Shinji, it's Shinji. Oh, I'm not dead! Yes! Hallelujah! Mr. Miura? Miss Takamura! Oh, thank goodness, you've come too. Sorry, I was so worried. You didn't answer the doorbell, so I came down here. Okay, I appreciate that he does that, but I, I could have been in a shower, okay? An ambulance will be here soon. I'm so glad you came too. I shook you, but you wouldn't wake. Miss Takamura? Are you crying? I remembered. I forgot so much, but I remembered. Someone very important. I was weak. I couldn't do anything. So I couldn't help her. But I did love her. And I'm very glad. So I'll be fine now. I remember.
remember that even I, even I could be loved. I like how she's just like saying all this stuff like while she's still laying on the floor. <sighs> this is freaking awesome. This is why I love RPG horrors. Since then, strange things stopped happening in the house. I was examined at the hospital, and they discovered I showed signs of schizophrenia. I still don't know if it was real or a hallucination. But now I don't really care which it was. Er, okay. Don't think I forgot anything. Up, who is it? Shinji? Mr. Muta! What is it? Er, um... I heard you were leaving, so... I came to see you off. Alright, time for that kiss, though! Come on now, what you got for our brother? You're gonna go back to your parents? The situation sounded complicated. Yes. I'll be going to the hospital often, and there's a kind doctor near there. I want to get better with my mom. Come on, don't go to your freaking mom. Live with Shinji, jeez. Her hysteria is getting worse. She needs to get counseling. Oh, that's right, she is ill as well. I see. What? Ah, uh, well, it seems unfortunate we're saying farewell so soon. Don't worry. Once mom and I are doing better, I'll come back here for sure. R really? Yes. It's the house my auntie left me. I'd love to live here, so if I could. So I see. I'm glad. I'll drive you to the station. Not many taxis come out here. Thanks a lot. That would be great. I'll be back soon, Ati. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about, man. Roll credits. That mad father music playing. That was a freaking good ending. I freaking love paranoiac. Good end. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. I mean, we did pick the wrong thing first, but yeah, that doesn't matter. So that was Paranoic. Instantly, one of my favorite, most favorite RPG horror games. Story, it was scary. The only, the only drawback about this game was the hiding mechanic. Didn't like that at first, but once I got used to it, it was all right. Man, you can't be mad at this game. This was a good game. Um, it, it was great. I loved it. I loved the characters. Freaking mom. Still the worst mom ever, but she has uh, hysteria. So we, uh, we're going to cut her some slack on that one. That, that, that was awesome. That was, that was a really good RPG horror game. You guys really do know how to recommend some games. So, with that being said... It's time to continue on that corpse party. Anyway, Paranoic was awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Samurai, so much for going on this journey with me. It, it was it was pretty awesome. Thank you for your constant support and uh, liking, commenting on this series. I really, really do appreciate that. And Corpse Party is coming soon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed Paranoic. If you did, be sure to s -s -s Samurai, press that like button. Subscribe today to join Samurai. And until next time, my brothers and sisters.